This video contains spoilers. Watch the f***ing show! What is going on, my beautiful viewers? I want to welcome you all back to the channel. Uh, in case you can't tell from this new view you got here, uh, I recently moved, and that's why I had to take a break, is because I had a lot of stuff going on. I still haven't completely gotten everything situated the way I want it to, but uh, this is going to be the new setup for the time being, and uh, I wanted to get a video out as quick as I could and get back to you guys. So when I was thinking about the next anime I wanted to talk about on this channel, I was kind of thinking about how I have included uh, the Bully Maguire meme in all my thumbnails recently. But just thinking about that got me thinking about this anime that I had watched a few years ago and I, I wanted to really talk about it when I had watched it but it just kind of slipped my mind. And that anime is So I'm a Spider, So What? Or Kumu Desuga Nanika in Japanese. So already with the name, this show kind of comes across as a little weird because the name just kind of sounds weird because it has so twice in it which is kind of strange. But one of the main reasons I wanted to talk about this anime is I didn't watch it when it was airing, but I remember that it was a big subject of conversation amongst like the isekai people. And so I kind of wanted to talk about the show to give my thoughts on it um, because I, I definitely have kind of mixed feelings about the show myself. So for anyone out there that doesn't know, Soma Spider So What is an isekai anime. Nani? Starts off with your normal isekai premise, people transported to another world. However, our main character who the fan base refers to as Kumiko, the main character actually does not have an official name, but the kick of this one is she's reincarnated as a spider monster. And because she's reincarnated as a non-human in this sort of dungeon area, people have compared this anime a lot to that time I got reincarnated as a slime. However, I don't really view that comparison as fair because this anime has a totally different vibe to it, if you ask me. So the story starts off with Kumiko being in this dungeon, and already there's a massive difference from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Unlike Rimuru, who basically has broken OP skills like immediately upon being reincarnated, Kumiko is this generic weak spider monster. She doesn't have anything special going on with her. She doesn't have any special powers. She uh, is struggling to survive. I kind of view this as the Dark Souls of Isekai. <laughs> Like, our protagonist really, for most of the show, is struggling against most of the opponents she uh, goes against. The show has a pretty formulaic approach with Kumiko's story. Basically, she explores, she finds a monster she can't kill. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Then she levels up, and then she goes back and she tries to kill it and overcomes this challenge. She levels up, she evolves, move on, rinse and repeat. But I think the real kind of driving force of my interest in So I'm a Spider, So What? is the overall vibe of the show. Because as the show progresses, you can see that Kumiko's mindset is a, is a little fucked up. And the world of So I'm a Spider, So What? has so much lore. However, that's where we come to one of the big problems with the uh, anime adaptation of the story. And that's that the anime, unfortunately, doesn't explore and explain this stuff all that well. And because of these kind of poor explanations that are given in the anime, like you really are missing out on, on, on a few things. One of the biggest things of that changes Kumiko's mindset is she gets this skill called Ruler of Pride. And one of the effects of Ruler of Pride is that it makes the user view people as XP. You no longer view people as people anymore. Because there's this scene later on in the anime where, where Kumiko just starts murdering tons of humans. And she doesn't think of it as, oh, I'm killing people. She's just, oh, I'm just getting that juicy CXP and it's because of that skill but like I feel like I didn't know that until someone who read the light novel told me that. So I have left something out uh, explaining uh, Soma Spider So What's story uh, intentionally. Soma Spider So What is actually split into two separate stories really for the most part. We have Kumiko's story which is the spider. But then we have another story which follows a lot of the other classmates of Kumiko who were also reincarnated in this world. Most of them are reincarnated as humans. And in that storyline that's where a lot of the world building happens, but unfortunately, in my opinion, that storyline sucks. Oh! What the fuck? I haven't read the light novel, but people that have read the light novel said that it's better in the light novel, but it's still not as good as the spider storyline. It, it's just, it feels like more of like your cookie cutter isekai because the spider storyline is just so interesting with the battles and the progression and the struggles and all that stuff. But then in the human storyline, it's just like generic isekai crap. You know, you go to a school, you know, we have our main MC guy and he's has like the hero and he's good hearted and oh, I must save. It's the right thing to do. White knighting all around. 
around here. And then we also have a hilariously evil, you know, bad guy who has all the Google Trends traits just shoved into his heads of what makes a vi oh, I, this world is mine, you know, all this other stuff. I did, however, like that little trick they pulled on us by, like, not revealing till, like, halfway through the show that Kumiko's storyline takes place, like, 15 years before the other storyline. That totally threw me for a loop and I had to like reassess how I viewed everything that had occurred um, uh, in the anime up to that point. But Kumiko basically puts this show on her back. She's like the only really interesting character in this story. Most of the characters on the human side of the storyline are completely uninteresting. The only one I was even slightly interested in was Faye, who was a bully in their class in their previous life and she was reincarnated as a dragon and she viewed that as punishment for her you know acts that she did when she was a human and that felt like an actually compelling character arc we could have pushed this character through and then in the second half of the series she gets a humanoid form and all that just goes out the window so i'm just like okay what and also miss oka who is the teacher that was reincarnated as an elf in this new world she comes across as kind of mysterious and like she she seems to know a lot about what's going on with the students but she won't tell anyone and she also knows about stuff happening behind the scenes which like she, she's not revealing anything very mysterious aspects like that was really interesting further on and then by the end of the show she just comes across as like increasingly naive and just kind of stupid honestly that she thought that Patimus was gonna be you know all in on this plan to save the kids oh my dude you just got Right. They just kind of threw out that mysterious air and just made her seem like just horribly naive in this whole situation. So the main problem, I guess you could say, with Selma Spider is that really only half the story is, is pretty good. To be honest, I almost fast-forwarded through a lot of the human sections. I, I just was so bored with it compared to the spider story. I just wanted to see what happened to the spider. Uh, I didn't really care about any of these characters in the human storyline. And unfortunately, another big problem with the anime is that it received an animation budget of a box of made raisins. Now personally I prefer it when CGI isn't an anime because it's kind of jarring sometimes when you go from the, the traditional 2D style to CGI. It does kind of take my focus out of the anime a little bit because I'm just noticing like, whoa, th that character looks really different because they're CGI. But most of the time I can look past it and try to enjoy the show and like I, I don't hark on it too much. However, the CGI in this show, I mean, it's almost X-Arm level. Like it is very, very bad. It, it looks horrible. Oh my God, the monkeys just look terrible. And it's unfortunate because the 2D animation of the show is actually really good in my opinion. Like when Kumiko looked is 2D, um, she looks pretty good. And in the first half, the CGI for Kumiko as well wasn't that bad. I don't know what happened. It becomes hard to watch at some point. Oh! What the fuck? And another thing is that in the second half, the story starts feeling rushed. There was definitely some pacing problems. And honestly, looking back as a whole, the pacing of the show is really inconsistent. And so guys, unfortunately, Soma Spider So What falls into that category of very, very good source material that just didn't receive an ideal adaptation. It got two cores, so it got a lot of episodes, but man, just the animation quality and the pacing definitely like has a steady decline throughout. Story-wise, I think it declined a little bit after Kumiko got out of the dungeon and her side of the storyline, but it still maintained my interest for the most part, but wow, the production value and the pacing of it just became so erratic. I've been told by a lot of people that the light novel is fantastic and I can definitely see that because the base story of this show I it can definitely generate some interest the story itself is pretty good so in terms of like the dark isekai genre I, I definitely think the story elements are there it's just for the anime itself you're gonna have to get past a lot of production issues and pacing issues in order to enjoy this anime to the fullest despite everything I've said about this I still enjoyed the anime. It was it was a fun watch. I find it funny that having four of the same character in one storyline is more compelling than having actually different characters, a bunch of different characters in the other storyline. I would definitely put this as one of the more deeper isekais. It definitely has a lot more going for it, and there's a lot more there. But man, the technical aspects of this show 
<sighs> those need to get ironed out if they're ever going to do another season of this. Um, and we need to not rush it. Like it kind of reminds me of Overlord in the sense that there's so much world building to do here, and unfortunately, because you know they don't want to do that, they just push past it. This definitely seems like an Overlord scenario where if you don't read the light novel, you're actually missing out on crap loads of information. I think I might read the light novels, and someone told me that the last light novel is being released in English this month. So the entire series is done, which is great. So guys, that's kind of my thoughts on Soma Spider. So what a, a interesting isekai take, a darker, more kind of gritty isekai take that would definitely turn some heads and has potential and everything like that. Unfortunately, got a not so good adaptation. But if you can look past that stuff, I definitely think there is some stuff to enjoy here. I still liked the show, well, regardless of everything I've said so far. I thought it was a pretty fun watch. I definitely am interested in learning more about the world. Unfortunately, the anime ended like right where I wanted the story to go. Like I, I wanted more after they actually met up with Shida Ori. I wanted to know what happened after that. But them's the breaks. I, I probably won't wait for the anime. I'll just read the light novels at some point. So guys, what did you think of Soma Spider? So what? I want to know what you guys think of the show so please leave your thoughts in the comment section below we may have completely different takes on this so i really want to know what you guys think also light novel readers like do you think the anime did it justice because that's a perspective that uh, i don't have as a non-light novel reader so let me know if you have read the light novel if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it please don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and if you aren't already please subscribe to the channel it helps me out more than you know and it'll let you know when i post in the future with that being said i want to thank you all for watching to the very end of the video and i will see you all next time Bye.